tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Good afternoon, everyone. So you are now tuned in to Making a Difference. So it, it is a show created to inspire and motivate the youth of the day. My name is Erica Misson, and I will be your host and online friend. All right, so last week, I kick-started the season. So see, we're already in season three uh, with Be a Giver. So it's an organization that gives back, basically. So it was a really nice story. Uh, their founder actually um, really pursued his education um, and uh, he studied in the States because of um, some, someone just gave him a bag, basically. So somebody believed in him. Therefore, he was able to pursue his education in the U.S. and then he came back and then he started Be a Giver. So if you want to know more about that uh, Be a Giver, you can check out my previous episode, which is um, uh, Season 3, Episode 1. You can find it on uh, Making a Difference Facebook page. You can also find it on um, Ma V81 Radio's YouTube channel. Okay, so for this episode, actually, just so you know, it's National um, Deaf Awareness Week. So it started from November 10 and it's running up until November 16. I would like to introduce to you three of my guests for today from the Leonard Cheshire Disability Philippines Foundation. First, we have Doc Maureen Mata. She is the Board of Trustees member. Hello po, Doc. Yan. Hello, Erica. Hello. Hello. Sa mga nanunood sa atin, sa making a difference. And then we have Miss Hazel Joy Borja. She is the Executive Director and Programs Manager. Hello po, Miss Hazel. Hi, Miss Erica. Magandang hapon sa ating lahat. Ayan. And then, last but not the least, we have Miss Anafe Maravillas. She is the Project Partner Leader. Hello po, Miss Anafe. Hello, good afternoon to all the viewers. Hello, Erica. Hello po. So, here we have three of my guests for today. Um, they are again from the Leonard Cheshire Disability Philippines Foundation. So, Doc Ma, before we start, actually, napansin ko po na you were one of the writers po ba for the song that was actually played before I introduced to you? Kasi nakalagay doon, lyrics by. <laughs> Actually, um, it was um, so some part of an, a poet, a poem that I composed or I uh, write, no? And then uh, we decided to have because there is one activity that we're having with our one of our donors, and it's some sort of uh, making a uh, person with disability or being creative, no? Creative, be able to. Uh, do your advocacy creatively. So, and then I asked, or I requested one of our partners in Bohol, actually they are blind, no? Okay. Uh, to uh, paralapatan itong, itong lyrics na simulat ko. And uh, actually I pushed him, pwedeng pakigawa na ng ano ngayon, lapatan mo na ng kanta ngayon hindi, sabi ko sa kanya, hindi bukas na po, hindi ngayon na, sabi ko. So, na parang, ano, and ang nangyari pa kasi yung mga instrument sila ay nabaha that time sa Bohol. So yung yung video nila dito, medyo basa pa yung lahat ng mga equipments nila. So we may we may do of what we have. We have, no? no, no. When when was this po? What year po siya nagawa? That's just this year, no? Uh, ah, July. Yes, it's July and um, Okay lang naman na sabihin ko ang aming donor kasi is voice, no? So, at sa voice Facebook page, sa website din nila, senior din nila ito, saka sa Waiko. Yeah. No? Okay. So, um, will we be able to find it po ba on Spotify soon? <laughs> Spotify ka agad, no? Oh, actually, ayusin namin, uh, parang i-revise din namin itong video na to, papa-edit namin. So, hinihiling kasi kami ng tulong sa Center for Disaster Preparedness to have this one. For LCDPFI, we will be putting all our action photos. So, there will be another one and it will be officially 
um, be launched, of course, in our Facebook page then, and hopefully it will be in Spotify. So, lalapatan po natin po ng Rapatid Voices para may pagkakural version din. Yan, exciting naman po yan. I can't wait to hear that no, for on Spotify. So, ayun nga po. Now, let's uh, dive into the foundation. Okay. So, what is the Leonard Cheshire? Tama po ba yung pronunciation ko? Leonard Cheshire Disability. Yes. Uh, Actually, in, when, in UK, it's Cheshire. Mm-hmm. But when you're here in the Philippines, it's Cheshire, no? Nasanay kasi sa Pilipinas, Cheshire. But in UK, because uh, Leonard Cheshire is a person, ano? He's a war veteran, actually. So, mm-hmm. anya nakapangalan niya. And, oh, okay. Sige. So, I, I believe, no, po, we have a very short presentation on um, what the foundation is. So, can we show po the slides? There we go. Yeah, but yeah, but I would want we would want to make it more kind of um chitahan no because sa ating sa iyong yes. sa iyong program Erica para mm-hmm. ano na po mag enjoy then ang yung mga viewers natin here and of course sa mm-hmm. Facebook na making a difference and in other Facebook page where it was shared already. So let it share Disability Philippines Foundation Incorporated po ay isang organization no it's a disability focused organization but first of course, na-mention mo naman na kaming tatlo. Uh, since how many years pong magkakasama na kaming tatlo sa sektor ng kapansanan? Si Hazel at saka si Anna, Ate Anna Fair. Yan. So, LCDPFI, short po ng Leonard Cashier Disability Philippines Foundation Incorporated, has been founded by um, a war veteran in United Kingdom. His name is Leonard Cashier. Or Leonard Cashier. Uh, pag hinanap niyo po siya sa amin, Matagal na po siyang nawala. No? Matagal na po siyang matagay. At nananahilig na po. Ika na si Heaven na po siya ngayon. At uh, doon po sa UK ito nagsimula at nag-build po siya ng mga Peace War Veteran na na-disabled po. At tinulungan niya rin po yung mga kasama niya po mga na-disabled din. At nagtatag po ng parang to share homes. Uh, although hindi lamang po sa UK kundi sa iba't ibang uh, bansa po dito sa buong mundo, no? So, napakaraming uh, share homes po ngayon. At dahil po doon, dito po sa Pilipinas ay na-organize or natatag din po tayo. Pero not as a branch of Leonard to share or to share homes po. Ano po? Kundi it's a separate organization. It's a separate um, group po na independent no from Leonard to share UK. So, kami po ay... Um, isang na-mention na- ko kanina, we are a national disability focus organization, um, non-stop, non-profit, and uh, 10 years na po kami kung September 2020, so isang dekada na po kami na nagpo-promote and protect the rights of persons with disabilities in the Philippines. We are a registered and accredited as a social welfare agency by the Department of Social Welfare and Development. Uh, strategic partner din po kami ng Leonard Share UK. It's a UK-based NGO which supports people with disabilities in their airports to secure education, livelihood, healthcare, and participation in the society. And we are also a member of the Leonard Share Disability Global Alliance. So, marami po, no? Outside the Philippines, outside of the society. Mm-hmm. Yan po, ito po yung aming um, mission, vision, ika, ano po. So, uh, uh, syempre, meron po kaming parang binabatayan, ano, na sinusundan namin. We promote, paulit-ulit po ako, pero hindi po kami disabled people's organization, but we are a disability-focused organization wherein we promote and protect the rights of every Filipino with disabilities. We promote and help attain an inclusive barrier-free, and rights-based society for all. And we create opportunities for persons with disabilities to become self-reliant and attain their full potential as a productive members of our society and as an individual. Mm-hmm. And our vision, of course, is an inclusive, barrier-free, and rights-based society for all, where persons with disabilities are empowered citizens in their communities 
and actively participating in social and economic development. And our, we have our founding chairperson. She's all, almost 90 years old. And um, she's Miss Lourdes Reyes. Yes, uh, she's a philanthropist. No? Napaka, um, pagdating po no, sa mga vulnerable sectors, not just for persons with disabilities, ay napaka matulungin po ng aming founding chairperson. Kasama po ng aming mga, uh, ito po, ng aming ah. mga... Yes, yung nasa screen po, yung may white hair na po na nakatatanda, na nakaharap po sa isang nanay na may bit na baby. Then po, kahit po siya po ay senior citizen, uh, baka po mas malakas pa po siya sa akin. <laughs> okay, no? Siguro physically, in terms of willpower and her determination to assist and help persons with disabilities in our community. And of course, showing you also our um, president of the board, uh, his attorney, Jose Rizelo IV, along with all our staff in um, Manila, in Jensen, and in Bohol. Because we have around four uh, projects you know, um, uh, uh, with, with our um, organizations as of the moment. So we have this teams in Jensen and in Bohol and so, um, yan. So, masisipag po ang aming mga teams, lalo na po ngayong panahon ng pandemya at panahon po ng tagbagyo, no, ng ating disaster. So, syempre, uh, nakaakibat po ang ating mga staff or mga empleyado po because they are um, working din po sa grassroots, grassroots level. And here are our core programs. Um, our core programs um, include... Inclusive education, uh, wherein we promote access to quality education of children with disabilities. Our young voices, we promote leadership of youth with disabilities and support empowerment to become advocates of their rights according to United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. And of course, our uh, current safety program, no? Economic empowerment, wherein we support able persons with disabilities find meaningful employment and achieve economic independence including din po dito yung livelihood and uh, i will okay lang ba na para mas ma share no ng aming ano bang organization namin about all our projects i'll um okay lang na ibigay na namin sa aming executive director Erica kay Hazel Borja yeah. yes po um, hi, Ms. A. Actually, I um okay lang po. Um, before we get po into the programs, I actually um have a question po. No, I I'm I'm curious lang. Um, how did um each one of you po get involved in this foundation? Maybe. Ako. <laughs> ano, ano ba? More than five years ago. Uh, kasi si Hazel po ay nakakasama ko na po sa isang NGO, um, uh, disability, ito rin siya, focus din siya. And um, nagkaroon na, yun, meron kaming dun po ako na train initially no, sa NGO or DPO na ito, no? uh, kung saan po nakapacitate as a leader for persons with disabilities. At dun ko po nakilala si Hazel. At nung uh, napunta si Hazel sa LCTPFI, uh, 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 nag-reach out po kami sa isa't isa with regard to livelihood. Sabi ko, gusto kong bigyan na kasi I'm a president of um, our Person with Disability Association here in my barangay in West Rembo, Makati City. Sabi ko, gusto kong matulungan na maging um, productive yung aming members dito. So, uh, nag sila ng livelihood support, yung bead making, rag making. So, yung hindi pa Hindi pa ganun kakilala yung paggawa ng mga rags noong mga panahon na yun, ano? Uh, yung mga beads. And uh, at kung ano-ano po po, yun, nagbigay po. At the same time, nung nagkaroon ng memorandum of understanding with our po ng barangay and entire uh, barangay council, pumunta po yung aming uh, founding chairperson doon, si Ms. Lulu, at nakita niya po ako. At sinabi niya po sa akin, would you like to be part of the board of the organization? Sabi ko, ayoko po. Sabi ko. And uh, tapos bilang nagpatawag ng meeting, 
sabi sa akin Doc Mal na Stay tuned for the next episode only here on V81 Radio Manila.